Oh. Okay. Just to show you guys, um, C6 quad, this is how I get in the car. There might be many different ways. But it's, it's actually pretty quick as well. Okay, brakes on. One leg down. With the other leg up. I use the head, my head on the door as a balance. You can see I've got my um, backrest down in the car already. This is a bit dark probably now, sorry. And then, once again, it's all locked arms. It comes from the elbows, momentum. I use them. Momentum. Shift myself forward between the two. You have to be careful of working your pockets there at the back. But once in position, I lean against the door, as you can see, for balance. Um, and then, yeah, it's all just momentum. You can see it's quite a big jump I'm going to make. But I can do it controlled now because I've got strong and better. And now it's still locked on there, but it's all the inside on where I do the rest of the balancing and all of that. And yeah, then we go from there. I put the chair into the car myself. That's why the backrest is down. I make sure I'm deep enough. And obviously then I'm leaning with my arm on the inside, holding behind the steering wheel. That's why I don't fall out. Get the chair in the right position. Now I can leave this on because I'm leaning here, bent on no tricep, leaning against the door there, so I can't fall that way. And the other leaning post I have is my chair. Okay, back press height is quite important here, obviously, not for this, but for after the wheels are off. But okay, I've got these quad levers to help the wheels click off or come off easier. Then I already throw the chair in the position I want it, I go in backwards. Put the wheel in, look at this arm for coming forward, it's there, and then steering wheel this arm, back forward, but this elbow is inside the door. Now every car is different, so when I get a new car or get into other cars doing this, it's always different, but this foot is also a balance pillar. It's all about balance, this act that I'm doing here, and now I'm leaning against this side with my sort of chest arm, and this is holding me inside the car, but I also have to be on this side of my leg, otherwise I fall out. Because I'm on this side, I'm pushing against the side here, so I don't just pull out when I pull out this wheel with both hands. Okay, so this arm's still there, but now I can lean on the wheel from the hub or however you want it, and then immediately my arm is back against the side there for balance. It's all balance. And then from there, I do that, and now I'm inside. So now, wheel back in. Most dangerous part out is over. I get my legs in. Once again, with this arm or that arm, leaning against the steering wheel with my arms. Um, I already get my legs in a position so that they won't spasm when I drive or whatever. And then, once again, I'm not going to fall out because I've got my hand there on the steering wheel to get the chair in position. Now I'm inside, I won't fall out. I lift up, get my hand under the chair. If your backrest is a bit too high or whatever, you can obviously loosen your backrest and flip it down. Or before you get in, you can take your cushion and take it out, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, my backrest is short enough so that I can now just, once again, this hand against the roof, otherwise I can't pull in because this will be too heavy for me to pick up. But it's bicep power and hand against the roof inside. So I can pull it and then once you're here, remember to get your hand in as deep as you can under the chair so once you get into a position here it pivots. And then I can just put it inside, nice and slow without hurting the car. It's next to me. Once again coming forward is with the steering wheel, biceps. And okay, I've got electric seats, you can have normal seats um, with the spring that comes up. They're actually quicker than the electric seats when it comes to getting it down and up. So, um, but anyway, so I've got electric seats that's got memory, which is lucky and very luxurious. Um, and then yeah, from there, uh, I'm actually ready to start the car, but I'm going to leave it open. Even seatbelt, a lot of quads battle with, they think, oh, how do you do it or whatever. What I do is, I just want to switch my flicker off here. Oh, that's on the flicker. Hazards. Oh, it's my hazards. I don't know how that's on. <laughs> anyway, I get it far enough. I bite it to hold it. I mean, I'm not pulling hard. I'm just holding it so the bottom part is loose. So now this, I can maneuver. I put it in my hand. Once again, it's just wrist extension. But even as a C5 car with no wrist extension, you can find a way. Now it's loose, so you can maneuver it. Every car is different, but the more you do, the better you are. And then it just, you know, from there, you just push it down. 
lot of guys don't have that price of power to push down, but if there's no force from here, that's why it's in my mouth, you can push it down. And then, yeah, look, I've got this steering mechanism. Um, so, I mean, I start the car and it's forward brake down. I've only got the nozzle on the steering wheel to get special stuff where your hand slides in so you can do turn. And so I come right like it is like this. And yeah, I mean, then it's all closed and yeah. So the most important thing of this is this seems like one hell of a process. Um, once again, if you practice a lot, uh, you know, when I started, once again, I timed everything. And um, I timed in the beginning, it was 25 minutes and I was dead tired. Now from sitting outside to opening the door, getting the car, put the chair in the car, and drive off, I can record time about 1 minute and 18 seconds. I'm sure I can probably do it fast, I haven't timed it in a long time, but the point is functionally, I'm from standing outside to in the car and driving off under two minutes easily on a daily basis. And same thing getting out will be between two and two and a half. So quite functional.